All right, it was a bit naive to call this previous version Footlocker because it didn't work with animated rope bounce, which is the case that you would need a Footlocker the most, right? Let me quickly show what I mean by that. Okay, let's say you have this in place animation and you want your character to move around in the world. Most probably you're gonna animate its root bone so that it moves along the Z axis, right? And there is a good chance you'll notice some feet sliding because the character's walking speed doesn't quite sync up with the root bone's movement speed, just like what we have here. At this point, you may try to find that sweet spot, you know, the perfect movement speed for the root bone so that there is no feet sliding. But this might not be the ideal solution, especially in a scenario where you need your character to walk a precise distance. In that case, you will counter animate the foot controller to keep the foot steady. And I mean, counter animation could be one of the most frustrating aspects of character animation, if not the most, right? And that's where Foot Locker can really come in handy. Let's see it in action by keeping this left foot steady. For this particular animation, the start frame could be 10 and the end frame 26 maybe. With the update, now we have these root motion submenus. We're gonna use this location one, of course. I'll match the Y axis of the foot bone with the Z axis of the root bone since the forward directions are different. And it will do the heavy lifting for you by counter animating this foot controller within the selected range. You'll probably need to tweak a couple of keyframes at the end though to make this transition seamless. Maybe you could use one of these animate tools to make your job a bit easier. It's up to you. I believe this process will vary depending on the specific animation you're working with, so I haven't scripted any functionality, because I don't want a possible scenario where the add-on works against you by changing these keyframes in a way that they are not supposed to be. They could be counterintuitive. But if you come up with a suggestion, I will be happy to hear your thoughts on this. And after all this, you might think, okay, but look at the foot pose, man. This doesn't even look right, you know? I mean, yeah, but this has nothing to do with the add-on. As you can see, same thing happens here for the right foot as well. This is a mix of animation, so that pretty much explains it, I believe. One last thing to keep in mind, if your character is sliding too much, that means the root bounce movement is either too fast or too slow compared to your character's walking speed. In that case, it doesn't really matter which tool or method you use. It's really hard to compensate for that to make this transition look good. You might end up tweaking a couple of other controllers to get it look right. So all in all, this is just a free add-on at your disposal that you may find helpful in some cases. Alright then, see you in the next video.